Hey everyone, um, let's talk thermostats. Uh, stock thermostat on an XJ is 195 and research has led me to believe that going colder on the thermostat will not only affect my heat but could affect my fuel mileage. So last week I put a new radiator in Potty Mouse, just put a Alpha 1193 single core uh, AutoZone replacement. The Jeep runs pretty solid. Three days after doing it, the replacement thermostat failed. Uh, it was a fail safe made by Motorrad and research has started showing that I'm not the only one with that issue. So we're going to go ahead and go back to a Stanton 195 thermostat. Um, after this issue with this fail safe thermostat, uh, personal experience has showed that Stanton and Gates are the only two thermostats that I will ever run again. Uh, I've run them both numerous times and the one time I stepped away to a different brand we had a thermostat failure. Um, my thermostat stuck open here in Colorado. That sucks when it's in the 30s or colder at night. I haven't had heat for about a week. Um, so we're going to swap the thermostats out and go from there. Now the thermostat on the XJ is fairly straightforward to get to. It's got a 13 millimeter bolt up top and one down low. Um, you want to drain some of the coolant out. You're probably still going to get a little leakage, but you don't want to have a total loss of coolant. Um, if your coolant is fairly fresh, you can save it. You can run it through a coffee filter back into your coolant container or any other suitable container. Um, you don't even have to disconnect the upper hoses. You should be able to just pop it loose, open it wide enough to get it out, and then replace the gasket and the thermostat. So here's the new Stanton Superstat part number 45359 it's a 195 thermostat I nice keep saying Stanton but it's Stant uh, my apologies for that but Stant and Gates are the only two I usually run like I said I went to this motor rad fail safe and it failed three days after I did it and you guys can see I've got the housing off already so let me show you this new thermostat, and I'll show you guys the old one. You guys see the new one is closed. This is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to stay closed until it gets to 195 degrees and then open up. Now, this one is a, th a week old fail safe. And you guys can see it failed stuck wide open and that's why at night my Jeep won't get over 120 degrees so let's see if I can get these two side by side for you guys personal opinion do not ever run a fail safe Unless you want to be service pulling your T state out a few days later. I'm gonna go ahead and get to installing. Well, cleaning up the the gasket and then going from there. So here we have the block clean. The thermostat housing clean. I'll give it one final wipe down with a rag, get all the debris out. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the new thermostat in. We're going to use some gasket cinch instead of RTV and get it all secured up. So here we have everything together. Um, like I said, it's simple. It's two bolts. Um, I was talking about sealing earlier, I believe. I use gasket cinch, gasket sealer uh, in a lot of places because it doesn't have the cure time that RTV does and it works as a glue to hold your gasket in place. Um, so far, I've never had any issues using this, uh, and I've never also tried it as a belt dressing, as the container says, but uh, my dad's used this stuff for years, and he recommended it, so I just keep using it. Um, never had a gasket see uh, leak with it, and as I've used it, it's always made gasket removal easier, too, when I replace gaskets down the road. Um, so, let me get this thing test fired, make sure it only leaks, and then we'll go from there. Fired up and no leaks. So 
So here's a fail-safe thermostat. You guys can see it's stuck open. Um, you guys look, there's these little tabs right in there that hold the thermostat at the open position when it thinks it's overheating. Here's a better view of it. Now, what I think happens, and because our Jeep's the Jeep Cherokee XJs like to run 200, 210. When these hit 195 and they open, I think after running 210 for such a long period of time, like all Jeeps do, that's normal operating temperature, even though the thermostat's 195, these push open further, thinking it's overheating. Therefore, they lock themselves in place, and that's why they fail. Now, you could probably bend the tabs back and get rid of this fail-safe method or you just don't use it because it's an older design uh, I was talking to my dad about it and he says these have been around for years and back when cars used to run cooler this wasn't an issue but they still had some problems with them um, or you just save your money and buy a stamp or even a Gates uh, thermostat they're 8 to 10 bucks and this was 15 I'm gonna clean this up and take it back to AutoZone, but I thought I should give you guys a, what it looks like. And you guys see the tabs holding it open. So, that's my thought on why these fail. I don't think they're meant to handle the Jeeps running at 210 for such a long period of time continuously like they do. Um, so, take my opinion with a grain of salt for what it's worth, whether you agree with me or not. Just thought I should share that. So that was my install of the Stant 195 in place of a fail-safe thermostat. Uh, fairly simple. Um, the way I do things isn't the way you guys have to do it. I just want to share my opinions. Uh, I think I showed you guys adequately why the fail-safe fails. Once again, it's an opinion. Um, we all have our own. So thanks for watching and have a great day.